What's up guys? So today I don't have Tegan with me. No, I'm totally joking. She's right over there. Hey guys, I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are the Rip Contents. Welcome back, back to our channel. In today's video we are doing a hair tutorial and we're doing it on this bad boy. We've had a lot of requests in the past um, about how we do this hairstyle, which we wear for competitions. Dance competitions. Yep, so if you want to see how we do this hairstyle, continue Stay watching. watching. As you'll see, it does take a little while to master. Before we get on with the video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And give it a big, big thumbs up if you yeah. like me. So you start off by brushing your hair. And then you start to pull out your hair like a fringe. Section it off. You can use your hands if you want. You can grab a part of your hair. And you brush it out. And then you check if it's even, even both sides. I need more on this side, so I'll grab some more. Put a lackey in the rest of your hair so that it doesn't get intertwined with your quiff. La quipa. What? La quipa. What? Or you could come more alive. hair out and ready to go we are going to crimp it because crimping is a secret to a good crimp it gives you the volume yeah because my hair is quite thin I crimp it to give it volume and make it thicker this thing, this thing. so with a little yeah so then I'm just grabbing the first section Crimping that, don't have to hold it down for too long. And then I take it back, flip it back, and I secure it with a pin. Now for the last little bit here, because you don't want to make it obvious that you crimped it, because that's not the look you're going for. So I kind of Straighten this, even though it's a crimp, you can still straighten it. Then I brush it out. So I'm brushing it out to give it a bit more body, otherwise, it'd be too shaped. Back curl, whatever you want to call it. I tease it. And then make sure you tease the sides as well as the center of it. Then you're done. You push it up. Try to shape it with your hands. Keep pushing it forward. Shape up. Kind of using your hands. Shape it to wherever you want. Good. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect yet. And just Spray it so then it gets the body. And while you do that, push it forward to put weight on it so it goes forward. I use about like four or five bobby pins so I make sure it stays in because you don't want any parts coming out. I haven't sprayed it, it ain't gonna. And if you think you've done it too high, like I think I have. Then you can gently like push it down while shaking it as well. So make sure it's all even. So try not to make it look like a square. <laughs> try to make it look even all the way around. And then the tricky part is putting it into a ponytail without like pulling it back. So you've just got to be really careful that you don't touch your work of art. <laughs> just before you put your lacquer in to secure your hair. Fold it a little bit just to move it away from where you're tying it. And I keep doing that. And then I just put lacking in really slowly because you can feel if it's pulling or not, so you have to change the way you do it. Final staying position. 
and you're done. And then we're done. You're done. Comment down below if you've ever had to do a quiff for a performance before. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed watching our tutorial. Be sure to watch all of our videos on our channel. Click the little notifications, the little bell, and so that will help notify you when we post a video. We'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye!